Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Since semiconductors originated in the United States, American chip companies started earlier and took the first mover advantage in the global chip market. As a result, many chip giants, such as Intel, Texas Instruments, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm, have made a lot of money. Even so, it was not satisfied. When China started to develop chips, it began to intervene, which exacerbated the deterioration of the global chip situation. As a result, American chip giants couldn't stand it anymore and began to cut prices to compete with Chinese companies for the market, but it was too late. Recently, NVIDIA's performance has improved and its stock price has soared, which seems to make China feel that U.S. chip companies are not affected by U.S. restrictions. But the reality is that NVIDIA just caught up with the AI explosion around the world at a good time. And in an interview, NVIDIA CEO Huang Rengsen also complained that U.S. regulations have tied their hands and feet, making it impossible to sell advanced chips in the largest market. The inability to trade with the mainland market will cause enormous damage to American companies. Therefore, NVIDIA is also affected by U.S. chip restrictions, while Intel, Texas Instruments, Qualcomm, etc. are more obvious. Intel's performance has declined for four consecutive quarters, and the first quarter of this year is the largest quarterly loss in history. Qualcomm's most recent financial report net profit fell 42% year-on-year. These two have been mentioned many times before, so I won't say more, focusing on Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments, like Intel, is an old chip giant in the United States, and its qualifications are much older than Intel and Qualcomm. Texas Instruments was established earlier. When it made a fortune, the names of Intel and Qualcomm did not exist in the world. Intel is a CPU giant, Qualcomm is a mobile phone sock chip giant, and Texas Instruments is a global analog chip giant. Everyone in China knows that Morris Zhong founded TSMC, a global foundry giant, and Zhong Ruijing founded SMIC, the most technologically advanced company in mainland China, and these two founders both came from the same American company, which is the American chip giant Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments has a glorious history in the semiconductor industry, but later missed the era of PCs and smartphones. However, it still has strong competitiveness in the field of analog chips and digital signals, so it can stand for more than 70 years without falling. In the global analog chip market, Texas Instruments is still the well-deserved leader, but even so it is beginning to be unable to stand up. Recently, Texas Instruments also announced its financial report for the first quarter of this year. Revenue fell by 11% year-on-year, and net profit fell by 25% year-on-year. The reason is that the market demand has declined severely, resulting in many chips being produced and unable to be sold, and the inventory has risen sharply. In order to improve capacity utilization and avoid further losses, Texas Instruments started a price war in order to regain the market share previously taken away by Chinese chip manufacturers. The point is that there is no fixed range and bottom line for this price cut. According to sources, Texas Instruments has been aggressive this time, and they will follow suit to lower the price of domestic products. Moreover, Texas Instruments' price cut is mainly for the Chinese market, 
which is to compete with Chinese companies in the field of general-purpose analog chips. The reason for this situation is that the chip restrictions in the United States have led to the emergence of global core shortages. So the chip market has begun to have a shortage of production capacity and supply exceeds demand. So major manufacturers such as Texas Instruments have begun to expand production or build new fabs to increase production capacity. But it will take some time. So many terminal manufacturers who can't get the goods have turned to alternative domestic chips. This has driven a surge in orders from related Chinese chip manufacturers, which has eroded a lot of the original market share of Texas Instruments. Today, the production capacity of Texas Instruments has been increased, but the market share has been reduced and the overall chip market demand has fallen, resulting in a continuous increase in inventory and a decline in performance. Therefore, Texas Instruments decided to cut prices to grab the market. However, Texas Instruments may be disappointed even if it cuts the price. Because of the chip restrictions in the United States in recent years, not only have Chinese companies determined to achieve chip autonomy and production capacity has continued to increase, but also domestic corresponding manufacturers have begun to focus on using domestic products. Because the use of domestic chips can avoid supply chain risks, and domestic chips have more advantages in price than foreign ones. Regardless of whether Texas Instruments chooses to build a factory in the United States or Europe, the cost of building or operating a factory is much higher than that in the mainland. TSMC has a deep understanding of this aspect because the cost of building a factory in the United States is too high, so it has to decide to increase the customer's OEM quotation. Therefore, the production of the same product in China has a more competitive advantage. It is almost impossible for Texas Instruments to regain the market through price wars. In this regard, some foreign media commented that it is too late for Texas Instruments to cut prices. If you want to complain, you can only blame the US chip restrictions. If it weren't for its interference, American companies would not have fallen to this point. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share. Thank you for your watching this video.